Hello folks, welcome to Hippie in a Race Car. And as you can see, I'm now allowed to play Gran Turismo 7. Still not going to. Because <laughs> I've got a bunch of these to finish off. And that's the goal for today. Watkins Glen. I don't know very well. This should be fun. What am I racing in here? A Spider 54. A6 GCS. Looks kind of sexy. Let's see what it's like. Alright, here we go. I've had to re record. For some reason, the game volume was extremely loud. You could barely hear me, so I said, oh, okay, I'll just re-record it, no big deal. You don't get any game volume this time, sorry. Otherwise, you'd have me yammering around in the background, and it wouldn't make any sense whatsoever. This is not a track I know all that well, and this was... This was a, a good exercise in getting a little bit better each time. <laughs> First, I had to learn the track. I've driven Watkins Glen a few times, but not that much so I don't know the breaking points I don't know where all the little ins and outs and such so yeah this this uh, there's a chicane there who knew yeah so in the interest of the fact that I know for a fact there's no way I got gold on that because you don't slide off the track that badly and slam a wall and still get gold I figured I'll sit through this We'll see how I end up. I'm hoping to, you know, maybe get bronze or silver or something, but it's so unnerving that it ticks down to nothing. Like, I'm running out of life here. Just got to make it to the... Come on, just get... That close. One second. One second, folks. I just needed one more beat, and I'd have made it. Oh, well. We shall try it again. This was a significantly better effort, I have to say. Starting to learn the track. This first corner is one of those, okay, it's 90 degrees, but it's still fairly quick because it got big fat chicanes. And from what I've learned, as a terrible habit, unfortunately, is that particular corner back there, you can go wide. This mode doesn't care at all. So you need to keep a little extra speed for this high speed straight up full throttle section and you know you it's just a thing it, it's an option but so far so good I remember to maintain speed through there this corner is this the chicane's actually quite quick if you do it really well I'm not I get through it and this time I'm still pointing in the same direction so this is a a definite improvement over my last run so I'm hoping to at least not die before I complete the objective. You know. <laughs> ah, okay. Where are we at? Third of the way. The music for this is actually pretty good, but it gets a little bit overwhelming in some sections. And then I did that. You can almost get away with it in this particular corner because you have to slow down anyway. So sometimes... Sometimes it's not the end of the world. So I figure I'll keep going. Besides which, I'm learning the track. That's the first thing I'm learning right now, is figuring out where all these breaking points are, which corners are fast, which corners are less fast. And trying not to... Ooh, a little wide. Try not to run into anybody. Guaranteed... Lose time if you smack into the back of somebody who's going really slow. What are you doing? Nice car, dude. That corner there is always... I'm pretty sure it's faster than I take it. There's definitely time to be made up there. And learning braking points properly. Would also be a good thing. Yeah, this corner, you can go wide. Game don't care. This is... 
is full throttle. I lifted a little tiny bit there because dude was there and he, I, I couldn't get wide enough angle on the corner. So I said, no, I'll just, I'll lift a bit. But you don't, you shouldn't have to under normal circumstances. Nice roadster, buddy. At least this time it doesn't look like I'm about to run out of life. It's so unnerving. Oh, the chicane. Oh, the chicane. And another successful trip through it. It's so unnerving, unnerving because the whole screen starts to go gray and the sound gets all really, like, muted and dulled. And it's, it's like, you're, like you're dying, you know? And then all of a sudden you pass by one of those banners and it's all good again. But it's, it's rather freaky. Here we go. Okay, see? Everything's nice and vibrant. Yay! This corner is a trail braking, slow down correctly, and then try to accelerate again back up this ridiculous hill. This is a long hill. Like, this is probably a quarter of a mile from the bottom of that hill to the top up, up here. Ah, <sighs> silver. Well, as I said, I slowed down a couple of times. I probably shouldn't have, so... Sipping away at my coffee. All right. Let's give it another shot. This corner is quick. This. And then full throttle through here. don't think I lifted this time. I can't remember if I did or not. But then this guy, just enough to lose that big old chunk of time, that speed, you know what I mean, where you, you're doing 110 and all of a sudden you're doing 88. <laughs> Sorry about your destroyed bumper and the chicane. Still pointing in the right direction. This is excellent. Oh, that was close. A little wide on that corner. And then throw, full throttle through here. Down the hill. Brake. Try not to hit dude. You can't get an angle at the corner because there's always some car right in the way. And you never know quick. Is he going to go left? Is he going to go right? Is he going to stay on the apex? Is he going to go... So you just try not to hit him and get around the corner. And then again, this uphill section is crazy. I had a car that would have trouble accelerating up this hill you know, a long time ago. It was a good Toyota. But it wasn't very powerful. Pick your braking spot, and here we go. So far, so good. I'm just going to scooch by here. And this corner is again, it's a bit of a slowdown into it just because of the nature of the, the fatness of the corner. This one's fast. I don't know if it's full throttle. I don't know if it's full throttle in this car. It's definitely a fast corner. And then this one is, again, I'm not taking it as quickly as I could. I know that. I always seem to slow down and then I get about halfway through it and go, oh, yeah, it's that corner. I don't have to slow down that much. Slowly learning. That's why I'm doing this. That's why I'm doing this. Look out. Crikey. See what I'm talking about? This is where I just sort of gave up on taking the corner correctly and said, nah, I'm going for the extra speed. This is all full throttle right here for this next chunk, so let's go for some extra speed. So far, it's been a pretty good run. I hit that one guy. That cost me a chunk. We'll see how much. It's really hurtful when you're going at 110 and you're still accelerating and all of a sudden you're not. Because that extra huge amounts of ground that you're covering at that speed is lost. And that's unfortunately kind of counterproductive to the name of the game. Which is to cover as much ground as possible before you run out of beats. Alright. And this is normally the section, and just before this is where it gets into his little glory glory hallelujah part. And I noticed as I was doing these that I was getting a little further ahead on the track where that section came up. So that was a good sign. I figured I'm getting, getting further along. This one actually felt like it might be close to a gold. 
except for that one dude that I hit. And then this jag that decided, no, I'm just going to push you off the track. Thanks, Jaguar. Anyway, let's see how we do. Running out of beats very quickly. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. And... 6.04. 6.09 is the goal. I blame the Jag. <laughs> that point oh five, honestly, I put this one in fast motion um, because it's pretty much an identical run. I nicked dude as I came by, but other than that, it's an identical run to the last one. It's crazy. It's like, yeah, scoop by him. Most of the corners taken pretty much the same. Sky in the way. Still get around him up the big hill. The big hill. The very, very, very big hill. And then this corner. All looks good. Touch the wall there. But... And then this. So far, so good. Again, I'm in keeping good speed. Hit this. Screw it. I'm just going to go around. I sort of stayed on the track that time. And the full throttle section, and ducking cars, and the chicane, which I kind of almost lost it there, but it was just a little wiggy. And the same thing, come down around this corner, and the big long hill. This is where I come back to regular time. All I got to do is get up the hill, get around the corner. A little tiny bit further than I did last time. All right, sounds easy, right? The one time of all the times that I decided to do this, the one time I've gone through that corner and the car spins into the wall and I get exactly the same score 6.04. Okay. There's hope, folks. Don't worry. I haven't given up yet. This was actually a pretty good run. Mostly stayed on the track, at least on the chicane or on the curbs. And full throttle. I don't think I took the foot off the gas this whole thing. I was definitely improving. Missed dude that time. I actually didn't hit him. What a concept, right? Not running into cars as you go past them. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr coming through and this guy I had to slow down a bit more for him but not bad I didn't lose a huge amount of time like I did when I just nicked a buddy in the corner and lost 30 miles an hour so down the hill this one's a funny way the breaking point is a little later again it's a, kind of a slow down as you turn trail breaking kind of a thing and then just plant it And then up the hill. This is a weird corner because it gets tighter as it go, goes up. So you you don't have to break necessarily because you got gravity on your side. But you it's easy to go wide because of the fact that the corner gets tighter. And up here to the infamous spin out, not quite make it corner. Oh, look it. You can actually go through there without spinning. How neat. All right. I guess one air. There we go. And so far so good. Halfway through. Haven't hit anyone. Haven't hit anything. Bonus. Nice and smooth, generally speaking. I find for these modes, for this mode, if you give her at the beginning and you try to get ahead real quick, you find less cars on apexes when you get to them which means less cars to have to dodge around. It's much easier to keep your, your good time going because you don't have a bunch of random slow-moving cars just parked on apexes. Again, I decided to heck with that. I'm just going to go fast. Oh, look out, Roadster, coming through. That's a super fun section. And right in the middle of an extremely long, 
straight, fast, fast, straight. They put a crazy fast chicane. I love this track. This is a great track. All right, down the hill. Break. Dude pulls in. Thank you. Go around the outside of Buddy. Back on the power. Down the hill. Get some life under the banners. Yeah. Up to 116 there. Okay, up the hill. Breaking as late as possible. Keeping as much speed going so you can keep the speed going up the hill because this is critical. This is the end of her, folks. And where are we at? 5'8, 5'8, 5'8, 5'8, 5'9. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't screw up the corner. And. Gold. Get out of the way, buddy. Coming through. Come on now. <laughs> I just about ran into Buddy there, but that's okay. Got the gold. But a bit of a margin, too. Yeah? Not bad. Not bad. Took some doing. Took some spins, took some learning. And that's what I'm driving. Hmm. Nice car. All right, folks. Well, thank you so much for joining me. Have a lovely day. Peace.